Hey guys, it's me again, and uh, today I'm going to show you guys another demonstration. This is something that I've been working on for a little bit. Well, not a little bit, it took me about two days. Two days, yeah. That's about it. But uh, what it is, is a five letter pixel display using pistons that is fully programmable up to 27 different characters. I could add more characters, didn't really get around to it, I just wanted to get in the main letters and then an extra. So, let's see how it works. Uh, basically along the bottom here we have the selection of which display you want to program, so first letter, second, third, fourth, fifth, so on and so forth, and uh, so yeah, and uh, basically we've got six buttons to program it with and then a reset button. So, let's try the first letter. If we go hit that, and then we have to go on, and then one, two, I don't know, four, and eight. So letters will start to pop up, and it'll switch to an M in a second. And there we go, M. And then if I wanted to say, I don't know, I'm just going to spell Mike, because I didn't build the screen big enough to spell McDick, so. Alright, so then an I. So we're going to go 1 and 1, 2, 4, and 8, because I is the ninth letter in the alphabet. <sighs> and we have I. All right. Now we shall program the next one, which is 11. So 1, 1, 2, 4, 8, 8, 1, 2. Okay. And we have a K. Hoorah. Now, no, 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 no. I'm gonna flip that. Adjust myself here. Oh God. Okay. Um, and we're gonna put in an E, which is the fifth letter. So one, one, two, and four. So now, if you look here, it spells out Mike. Hoorah! And now we'll use the extra character. We're gonna put it down. And we're gonna go 27. So uh, one, eight. 16 and 2. Okay. And the extra character is a smiley face that I made. Yay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, yeah. Fully programmable. Can put whatever you want up on the sign. And it's neat. It's fun. I enjoyed making it. A little frustrating and repetitive at times, but whatever. So, you can program as many displays as you want at the same time or reset them all at the same time or you can reset one just by flipping down one switch so we'll just hit the reset switch here and it'll all disappear oh update the blocks there we go okay and it's a clear screen now let's take a look at the wiring because i love taking looks at wiring so uh, uh yeah okay <laughs> Basically, these are just wires running into each of the pixels of the display, and then here is the decoder. It's a vertical decoder stacked on top of each other. That uh, basically each one of these slides is a letter, kind of like a seven-segment display, just a little more complicated. Uh, if we look on top of the decoder, uh, on top of the decoders, you can see that there's a 26 output, no, 27 output multiplexer. And uh, I had to put that on top of each one. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. The keyboard runs from the back all the way, all the way, all the way, all the way. I have some insta repeaters on the back just to make it a little bit quicker. Uh, so then we have all these inputs going from down here from the keyboard up to the multiplexers. So those give you the different selections for uh, the output. So I can turn basically six inputs to 32 outputs, but in this case we only need 27. So, let's see. The keyboard, the buttons, run as lines that go across these lines. These lines run into some RS NOR latches that turn on the inputs for the multiplexer and keep them on. And that way I can make it stay. And as you can see, all the lines here have these blocks with pistons underneath them. Now, that is so I can choose which display to set. See, now they're, at the moment they're all down, up because uh, I have the switches on in the back. Now, say if I were to flip off these switches and say flip on only one, like the second display, 
Now I'll go back here. All of these have gone down, and this only the second displays one are up. So that's how I choose which display I want to program. Now, if we look back here, back over here, to where the buttons are coming off, these lines are just chosen how to select, uh, how to power them just by where I put the repeater. So I put the repeater there to power this block, so it will power this line, but it also powers this line, so it carries on and then does it again for each display. But it will only power a certain RS Norlash because only one of the rows of the blocks is up. And uh, then uh, you might notice I said seven buttons over there. There's only six lines across the top here. The seventh one comes along the bottom here to uh, reset the RS nor latches. So the button comes over here and it would hit this, which then goes down here and resets the RS nor latches with some torches. And that's once again for all screens. And uh, yeah. It was it was pretty simple. The uh, it's very repetitive and bulky. Oops, not good. Um, the keyboard was probably the, the most thought processing thing. Or the uh, multiplexer. I wasn't sure about the multiplexer at first. But yeah, that's it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration. I might be doing a tutorial on a pixel display, just not as large as this. I will make like maybe one of these. It's a 35 pixel display, 5 by 7. Um, yeah, and I'll show you guys how to make a decoder maybe, put a multiplexer to it, all that jazz. And yeah, so yeah, like I said, I hope you guys enjoy this video. See you guys later.